camper had had cancer um, twice in her life and she was only 11 years old and I just found her to be the most amazing person and the relationship and the bond that we got in one week um, has truly lasted a lifetime and all I can do is hope that our campers and our volunteers are getting that same relationship. I think the families come because we become this gigantic family and a huge support system for anything that any of them are going through, even beyond cancer. So I've always wanted to just make an impact in someone's life and I believe I've been able to do that with Taylor and these kids at camp. I mean, they're, they're awesome, they're so full of life and to see what they're going through and to, to see that they're so happy and that they, they have problems but you know they're they're still kids and they still can have fun and it's it's just an awesome thing the bonds that you make with these kids and with their families is absolutely irreplaceable and um, so many kids so many people and so many volunteers come into camp thinking um, I'm going to change these kids lives and I'm going to I'm going to impact these families and what they've gone through and I'm going to help them but what really ends up happening is that their stories um, really end up speaking into your life and affecting you a lot more um, just with what they can teach you and show you about life and just how to have passion and overcome the challenges. We've gotten to know a lot of the parents and I feel like we're friends with a lot of the parents and even when we go to reunions and spring retreats we kind of seek out the parents that we've um, sat with before or we you know joked around with before and we just you know catch up with them so it's kind of like a mini family reunion. To be perfectly honest it's it's like getting to go back to summer camp um, you get to meet a ton of new people uh, the kids the other volunteers uh, the families are all really great um, Getting to know my camper, it's been really awesome watching him grow up, uh, his little brother also. Um, I've stayed in contact with his parents uh, through Facebook and Skype and we've really continued that relationship. The camper feedback is typically everybody else here is just like me and kids can be kind of rough sometimes and I think it's just important for them to see that there's other people going through the exact same struggles. 93 million miles from the sun People get ready, get ready Cause here it comes, it's a light A beautiful light Over the horizon, into our eyes Oh my, my, how beautiful Oh my beautiful mother She told me, son, in life you're gonna go far Ride your love where you are. Just know wherever you go, you can always come home. When we are out camping, um, the par our parents are not here. They may be nearby. They're not on the campsite until we. They, until it's actually fun. Really? Because we have um, companions, which are like parents, but they just, you know, take, take care, care of us. and um, help make good choices. Whatever we want to do, the, they, they can it. think about and help you. Uh, I have this, but we have a big room and, the, and a nice restroom. What's it like to be around other kids that have had cancer? Happy Nessa! I like the other campers. Um, we have, I, I like hanging out with them, and I'm glad that the girls' and boys' cabins are divided. We don't have to listen to the boys banging on windows. If it's your first year, they, you are provided with a companion. It may be a girl or a boy, but they're 18 and older. You'll have really a lot of fun here. You'll experience things you don't really get to experience a lot. Best camp ever. No one's treated differently. It feels like you're just at like a regular summer camp without like people asking questions and you having to answer them like everywhere you go. It's 
really fun here, and I'm, I'm having a good time. Like, you can spend a lot of time away from your parents. You like that, huh? Yeah. You look we love Thank you. Thank you. Thank you Bye. very much for watching. Bye. You know, I, I can have a bad day at work and all I have to do is think about a couple camp kids and my whole day is flipped around. Um, I talk to my camper on a regular basis. I, you know, I volunteer. Uh, we do fundraising. Um, I'll always be a part of this. It'll never, it'll never be out of me and I love everyone here and always will. To see those children be kids again for uh, just a few days and not worry about the big boy stuff and not caring that their parents are there and having fun and it, it was just, it was amazing. And I'll never miss it. I'll quit my job if they tell me I can't come to camp. Amen. Um, <laughs> he doesn't cry to leave me. He cries when he has to come back home. If that tells you anything about camp, he, uh, it's the most special times of his life and he doesn't want it to end. So thank goodness that Camp Quality has so many events that he can take part in because he, he's very sad when he has to leave. For someone to so openly love your kids and treat them the way y'all do and take care of them and check on them and all the things y'all do, as a parent, there just aren't words to describe that. He's a wonderful little boy and he's a 100% boy in every way. He, throws rocks, he kicks dirt, he fights with his brothers, but <laughs> I wasn't I wasn't ready for him to go and not be within you know Arms five length. minutes of us. So uh, the the being able to send this the sibling was it's huge. huge. Uh, and the one on one ratio was even bigger was probably. probably the the straw that, that broke me and I said well we can try it. So it was just wonderful. They took really good care of her. She had two companions since she was in a wheelchair. And she's excited to come back this year. And her brother will come with her. And um, she's now just using one crutch at school and not using anything anywhere else. And so she's, um, so we really, I mean, talk about hard giving up the, you know, I mean, <laughs> I was really, um, you know, I text her quite a bit, Alvin, and I might have texted you too, I can't remember, but, but everything else. <laughs> yeah. you know, if this life is one act, why do we lay all these traps?